the stock market uh, is turning south right now in a very big way. The uh, uh, S&Ps right now, as I speak, the cash market down about 35, and you can see it is turning down. Now, the, um, the, the expectation was that it would turn down at this time. We thought it would get down a little bit, rally, hold up for another couple days, but you can see what's going on because of the fear factor that's hidden here. It's getting into the upper support zone, but I got to tell you, we're moving past this intermediate low period where you got the little rally that we had right here and now turning down again. That scenario is bad. Now, we have still very strong momentum that we had in here, but that could change. And the intraday momentum that we've had for weeks and weeks that's been powerful and giving buy after buy signal has now turned neutral and very ready to turn negative. So uh, that's a situation that is suggestive of lower prices and a panicky situation here potentially in the market. Our downward projections were for the S&Ps to lose from their high from 100 to 175 points. That would take it down to uh, 32, 30-ish. Uh, right, this level right over here is 32.60. This level right over here, this is the uh, the, the lower support uh, on the short term, is 32.40. Then you start to get into the intermediate supports here, and I put them in because of the situation that the market's in. This could certainly be a situation where it, the free fall takes you down to these levels. This level right over here is at around between 32.23 and or 32.12, and then this one right over here is around 31.50. So these are all potential. Remember, we thought they would fall into the March, into the uh, February time frame, then get a rally, and then fall hard again. So all of these numbers, when we get out to the project projected low, normally I want to talk one to three weeks, but this cycle low, as I projected out there time-wise, points out to March 6th. So the decline we're starting right now could go out into the first week of March very easily, and that's in alignment with the intermediate patterns. By the first week of March, S&Ps could be down the 175 or more that we're looking at in here as a potential. This is a very weak situation that is setting up first on the inter intermediates. Uh, the I'm sorry, on the, uh, the, the intraday charts. It, uh, charts move in a domino effect. When things start to deteriorate, they do, or or when they start to get better from a decline, they start a, in the intraday, and then all of a sudden it appears in the daily, and then it moves into the weekly. Right now, the in, the intraday is is lo, has lost its upward momentum. The daily has not, but you could see what's going on in this engulfing right over here. That this really is a situation that is speaks to the potential for some real trouble in here as this cycle peaks already. So if this cycle peaks right over here on this February 7th, it declines out here, I'm sorry, this uh, date right over here on, on January 24th, it then declines out to February 7th, it rallies at some point and then declines out to March 6th. Well, that gives you the stair-step ABC pattern on the downside I'm laying out right here as the potential is for sharply lower prices. So this is just starting. Um, the market is very susceptible to this. I'm going to show you more because of what's going on in the market than I normally show. You could see this weekly pattern reversing in here and this uh, point to out to the first week of March for the intermediate low at around 31.50 right over there is what it points to. And we talked about the VIX getting into this time frame where it was likely to start moving to the upside and you could see it happening right over here as the VIX is now up uh, two and a half points on the day and just entering into this period, this favorable period on the VIX right over there. And on the daily chart, man, it's starting early in here, earlier than we expected, uh, as we thought it would last a little bit longer. Uh, maybe this calms down a little bit, but then when we get over here uh, into February, that's a period for higher VIX also. So it's starting earlier than we expected in here, uh, and we're getting into a time period of much higher volatilities, uh, and that's what we looked for um, all along. So there's your VIX on the daily really popping up a little earlier than we expected that to happen.